In the vast world of Red Dead Redemption, we have very memorable characters that shape the narrative. Those we cherish, relate to, or detest. Yet, amidst these figures, one remains elusive. Never seen, but is always there. Tucked in a picture besides Arthur's bed is a mystery yet to be unraveled until today. This is the story of Lyle Morgan. Take me to church, I worship like a dog at the shrine of your last. I will tell you my sins and you can sharpen your knife. Offer me that death instead, the good God, let me give you my life. Take me to church, I worship like a dog at the shrine of your last. I will tell you my sins and you can sharpen your knife. Offer me that death instead, the good God, let me give you my life. When exploring the camp in Red Dead 2, numerous clues can be found, unveiling the layers of some of the gang members' personal lives, and Arthur's bunk is no exception to this detail. A quick overview of Arthur's camp consists of a plant, a newspaper article detailing a bank robbery Arthur engaged in, and a few photos. But this photo in particular shows us the person of interest for today's video. This is the only photo that exists of Arthur's father, Lyle Morgan. Lyle Morgan, an outlaw presumed to have roamed the frontier during the 1860s to early 1870s, encountered a pivotal chapter in his life. Be it prior to his outlaw days or during that time period, he crossed paths with a woman named Beatrice, leading to the birth of their son, Arthur Morgan. However, not long after the birth of her son, Beatrice Morgan passed away. Though Arthur's memories of his mother are somewhat hazy, he fondly acknowledges her influence. A touch of remembrance is evident as Arthur keeps a specific flower by his bedside, a homage to his mother's favorite bloom. I've been meaning to ask, what's that flower you keep by your bed? There's something my mom always liked, kind of a good luck charm, I suppose. They only grow out west, parts of California and Oregon. I always try to grab one when I'm out that way. I don't remember too much from back then. I was so young when she passed, but I remember that for some reason. The death of Beatrice Morgan left Lyle to take care of Arthur by himself. Unfortunately, this is the beginning of Arthur's problems. It's said that Lyle was abusive to Arthur and he continued his life of crime well after the death of Beatrice. Eventually, Lyle's life of crime caught up to him when on December 7th, 1874, Lyle Morgan was arrested for larceny which is a crime of unlawful theft or personal property of another person or a business. And on one unfortunate day, Lyle Morgan was sentenced to death by hanging, and a very young Arthur Morgan was present during this event. For your evils, you will hang. Do it. That's it. There will be no... Arthur mentions his father only a handful of times, but every time he is mentioned, Arthur shows a clear disdain for him. He even refers to his father as a no-good bastard in his journal. How is your father? He's dead a long time. He lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy. Well, I watched him die. I weren't soon enough. Though Arthur voices a clear hatred for his father, he still sports the same hat as he did. If Arthur really hated his father, why would he still wear his hat? There must still be some remnants of affection there. Unfortunately, this is everything we know about Lyle Morgan, but interestingly enough, this story draws parallels to others in the Red Dead world. John Marston's father came to the US on a boat from Scotland. His mother died due to complications giving birth, and his father died in a bar fight. Jack Marston, as we all know, has a very similar story. He has lost both of his parents at a very young age, and now he's on his own. History tends to repeat itself. Now this is just an interesting detail, and it shows what Rockstar might have thought would have created an outlaw back in the day. If you really think about it, most of the gang members had both of their parents die in the very early years of their life. Uncle, Lenny, Charles, Dutch. This even goes for Red Harlow. Now it's time to theorize, this time over a possible Red Dead 3 story concept. If you've watched our What Will Red Dead 3 Be About video, then you might be familiar with this theory already. If not, then we'll quickly go over it and then we'll leave you to let us know what you think about it. Imagine a story set in the height of the outlaw era. 
the 1860s to 70s. Lyle Morgan, in his mid-twenties, riding in a small gang, and in the midst of the story, he meets a woman. The story could show the birth of Arthur Morgan, and it could highlight the struggles of fatherhood while raising a child alone as an outlaw. The game would eventually end on the death of Lyle Morgan and transition into an epilogue of a young Arthur Morgan falling in with Dutch Vanderlyn and Hosea Matthews. The story structured in this way could bring the Red Dead Redemption story into a full circle. The story of Lyle Morgan remains obscure, but there are many ways in which Rockstar could take advantage of this and create something fresh that could top off the Red Dead franchise in a beautiful way. But until then, we shall keep theorizing. What do you guys think about the story of Lyle Morgan? Should Rockstar capitalize off the story or just do something else? Make sure you let us know in the comments below, and as always, have a zonkin' wonkin' day.